As some of you know, I recently had some surgery, and thankfully, I'm on the mend. Before I went to the hospital, I asked a priest friend to hear my confession and to give me the sacrament of the sick. Well, I'm not going to tell you what sins I confessed. <laughs> I will tell you what the priest gave me for penance. He said that rather than say some prayers, he reminded me that over the next few days I would have moments of discomfort and some pain. And he was right. But he said when those moments come, I should use it as a moment of prayer and offer my sufferings up to the Lord. Believe me, I would have preferred an Our Father or two. <laughs> but I did it. And today we celebrate the feast of Corpus Christi, the feast of the body and blood of Christ. And there is a connection between Christ's suffering and the gift that he gives us uh, in the Eucharist. During the past few weeks, among the books that I read was one about Pope Francis. And apparently one of the influential persons in his life was his grandmother. Rosa. And Rosa said that if we are having difficulties in life, we should kneel before the tabernacle and remind ourselves that it contains the real presence of the crucified Lord, who offered himself totally for our sake. Rosa said we should offer our suffering to the Lord, and he will take them and join them to his own. Maybe that could be our focus on this feast of Corpus Christi, the feast of the body and blood of Christ. Rather than processions and adoration, we can take whatever it is in our lives that might be causing us difficulty and ask the Eucharistic Lord to heal us, or at least give us the ability to move through our suffering. As Christ suffered and died for us, let us take our many sufferings and challenges, and identify with the Lord. Christ gave us his body and blood as a real presence in our lives. As we receive communion today in a physical or spiritual sense, let us feel the healing power of the Lord.